guys, what's up? Welcome to Thai Auto News. The Suzuki XL7 is currently the best-selling mini MPV in the Thai market. And uh, although it's based on the Suzuki Urtiga, uh, the XL7 comes with a large exterior package that gives it a really uh, rugged, and sporty and off-road look. So uh, today, <laughs> I'm gonna check out whether the XL7 can actually do some off-roading. I'm at the uh, Krida Lake in Rajabri province and there's a marble, marble mine in this area. So uh, we're gonna go on top of some rocks, some water, some mud to check out whether this front wheel drive mini MPV can actually do some off-roading or not. So. Uh, before checking out the video, don't forget to press like, share, and subscribe and hit that bell icon to be notified of our latest reviews and it's gonna help our channel grow a lot. Thanks! Okay, so uh, today we're doing just a little bit, bit of light off-roading, but if you are interested uh, in the XL7, don't forget to check out our full review of this car uh, by clicking that link on the top right of the screen. Uh, we had a full review of the XL7 already uh, sometime last year, so check that out too. Thanks. Okay, so uh, we're entering a mine and uh, there'll be some light off-roading for the XL7. Maybe not too tough, but uh, yeah, just to see um, if we can drive the XL7 uh, on some tough conditions or not, even though it's just a front wheel drive uh, mini MPV. At least it's got a <laughs> traction control, but uh, I don't think it can help much. But at least the suspension height has been increased uh, compared to the Urtica. So I think it's plus 20 millimeters. So we have 200 millimeters of ground clearance to uh, play around with today. Okay, some water in front. It's too bad uh, the Urtica or the XL7 actually, particularly the XL7 uh, doesn't come with uh, all-wheel drive, just uh, front-wheel drive. But this 200 millimeter uh, height, right height, uh, I mean the uh, clearance helps a lot when uh, having to go through water. Since uh, we're a uh, tropical, tropical country and we get rains, uh, lots of rain and uh, occasional floods as well. Okay, so uh, it's getting interesting. We've got a big hill in front and I guess we're going to go around it or up the hill. I'm not sure, so uh, let's wait and see. Up to now, the surface is quite easy, just the gravel, not too difficult, just a normal car can, can pass through anyway. Doesn't require an off-roader yet. Okay, so it seems like we're really going up the hill. So uh, with the XL7, uh, we get our power and torque from a four-cylinder 1.5 liter engine uh, with a maximum output of 105 horsepower and uh, 138 newton meters of torque so uh, not that much and this is a kind of a budget 
small MPV, seven seater, but uh, it comes with a few minor tweaks that gives it that extra bit of uh, off-road uh, performance compared to the standard Ertiga. So uh, not too bad. We're going up. It's not too steep though, but uh, two-wheel drive is fine. Not too difficult. Actually, very easy for a two-wheel drive uh, MPV like the XL7. Looks like a nice place for camping, you know, on top of this hill. Yeah, at least I touch some <laughs> trees, some leaves, so yeah, <laughs> just for the feel of it. Okay, going down already. Let's put it into low, not not low uh, ratio, just uh, I think first gear. Not much engine braking though. Still gotta use a lot of brakes. But yeah. This is, uh, but yeah, this is the kind of uh, light off-roading that you can expect uh, two-wheel drive MPVs like the Suzuki XL7 to be able to cross without having all-wheel drive. So actually, in the middle of this 5,000 ride, uh, Mine, mining project. Uh, we've got a nice coffee shop, so uh, we're gonna check out the coffee shop inside this mining project. The entry is really nice. Look at this resort. These are guest rooms. I guess there's. A lot of wildlife over here. I saw a couple, two peacocks just now, and here we got some horses over here too. Actually, ponies, chicken. <laughs> okay, so we're not in the jungle, nothing near that level, but yeah, maybe some nice views and uh, some nice coffee, and check out some of the animals over here, maybe. Okay, let's go down. Okay, so gonna pick up my coffee. Sang cafe wai. Es yen wan noi.
ครับโซ่ข้างใน low low sugar iced coffee hey nice view over here some snacks these are Thai desserts really nice and then some just a regular cake but these are yep for Petri province these are called the uh, Hanom Mok Gang and they're very very famous it's a bit hot but yeah maybe <laughs> take a break like this guy What are you eating? Apple. Pie? Pie? Yeah, yeah, pineapple pie. Pineapple pie. Okay, so uh, I've got some. Fish food. So uh, let's check out what kind of fish is around this area. Oh, a lot. Oh, that's a giant catfish as well. Some big guys and the small guys. Yep. Okay, so how do you like our off-road experience in the XL7? Of course, this is just a front-wheel drive. Uh, vehicle it's a uh, pity it doesn't come with all-wheel drive so uh, there's a limit you know uh, in terms of off-roading that uh, this mini MPV can do okay the increased ride height helps a lot too uh, especially when going through uh, floods or uh, water but you know uh, if you got mud or you have to go up very uh, slippery uh, mounds or hills I don't think uh, it'll make it but for daily use in, in general, I think it's pretty okay because uh, of the increased ride height, the 200 millimeter uh, ground clearance helps a lot when going through water or having to go over some undulation, some rocks. But heavy off-roading, uh, I don't think this can do heavy off-roading. It's a pity that, yeah, it's such a front-wheel drive mini MPV, so uh, there's so much you can expect from the Suzuki XL7. But the good thing is that the pricing and the, uh, in the equipment that you get with this uh, XL7 package is pretty nice. So uh, if you're interested, uh, just check it out at your local Suzuki showroom. Uh, well, that's it all for me today. See you in our next video.